Hello friends and enemies. Welcome to or back to Happy For Now. It's me Isabel here with my last half of April's reading wrap up. I will still be back with the highs, lows, and stats for you. That is coming soon, I promise. <laughs> but I wanted to do this now because I just felt like it would be weird to only have done like one check-in in April. Obviously this is going up on the last day of April. I've kind of already gauged. I'm filming it the day before <laughs> it goes up. I've kind of already gauged where and how my reading is going to end this month. I don't foresee myself finishing another book between now and then. If I do, <laughs> it will be in my weekly vlog, which goes up a week from this coming Thursday. So like weekly vlogs are back. It'll be there. This is everything, everything that I have read since the last check-in that is not manga because that'll be in its own video. I think that's Thursday's video. I don't know. I need to look at my calendar and my schedule to figure that out probably. But I do want to know. I've read five things since the last check-in, which feels really good. I'm in the middle of two, uh, three others actually, um, which we'll talk about at the end. I'll give you my like kind of current reading rundown and let you know where I'm going to be in this week's vlog, a little preview, so to speak. Um, but yeah, it was been a good reading month so far. I've hit my like, oh, you know what? I missed a book on this. I was staring at this and I was like, I'm missing something. There we go. So I've actually read six things since our last check-in. So as always, I'm going to go through the non-secret project items and I will warn you, I'm going to talk about the secret project for a hot second and then we'll go to my current reads and wrap this thing up. I'm excited. I've had an interesting time reading this month. I'm still struggling to know what I want to pick up, which is a really weird place to be. So I'm just kind of picking up things as they pique my interest. But that means that I did pick up the Carolina Comets full series volume. Uh, check out on KU. So I picked this up specifically to read two things. There is a novella in the back called Game Changer, which is Ford's book. So I wanted to read that. And then also there was like a bonus text exchange between all the boys. And I knew that I wanted to make sure I read that text exchange as well because I love, I love, 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 love those from Tegan. She writes some of the best text exchanges in my opinion. And I just love the group dynamic for the boys. So I knew I had to read that. So I read The Game Changer, loved it. Ford's book was perfection. Great little fun smutty novella. I just, it made sense. It worked for me. And then that little exchange of text, I don't know. It just like refilled my cup a little bit and maybe put me back on a kick, which we'll talk about in a minute. Then I read God Complex by Darcy Dahlia. This is Rebel Carter's pin name for her dark romances. I say this, she shares this publicly. Like <laughs> her other books are in the back of this book. Like it is not a secret situation. Y'all, this book. Oh my goodness. I'm happy I read it and I'm so mad I have to wait because this, I'm, I'm wondering if secretly serial killers is what I've been needing <laughs> right now. I don't know. I, I really think I'm needing to lean into more dark books again. Um, I thought I wasn't, but I think I am. We'll, we'll see what I do here. <laughs> Either way, God Complex was so much fun. You are in the heads of all three main characters. So we have our heroine who is a writer. I do not remember her name right now. And I don't remember the guy's names either. Wow, I did a good job. Let me see if I put it in my spreadsheet. I did not. Go figure. Anyways, our heroine is a romance writer. Um, she is getting her book turned into a movie. So this is a fantastic setup. And the two leads in the movie, it's a love triangle, are the two men that inspire her two types of book. One is her like kind of golden retriever hero-ish think Chris Evans is what I envisioned. And the other one is a darker hero that she puts in her mafia books. Like he's kind of the inspo behind that. Well, both of those men are serial killers, literally. Like they just kill people and they've had run-ins before and we're like, oh shit, there's two of us here in Hollywood, which is fascinating setup. Like I think this is just such an interesting setup. So she ends up on set with them and they're both trying to romance her basically and have to come to terms with the fact that they're going to have to share. And that's what we work towards. And as you're watching this all happen, you're like half screaming, like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Like, this is such a bad idea. But, oh my gosh. But you're also like, this is so amazing. This is so fun. It's kind of a slow burn. I will also note that it is kind of a slow burn. But I really had a good time reading this. This was such an enjoyable read for me. I really think that this gave me like something a little different. There's definitely some darkness in our heroine that we haven't fully gotten to explore yet or know about. So I'm very intrigued to see that. But these men like read all of her books, become obsessed with her. It's fascinating. Uh, I had a couple minutes where I was like, no, don't do it. And then I was like, no, but you have to. Like I have, you have to do this because I have to know what happened. 
ones. <laughs> like they're real. I'm like, don't do it, but also please do because I have to know how this is gonna go. But yeah, now I'm in the waiting time for the next book because I really do, I really, really wanna know what happens here. So yeah, if you're looking for a book like that, this might be a good option. I definitely left it pretty pleased and uh, honestly just very ready for the next book. Then I read Ruined. This is a graphic novel that is historical romance. I didn't love this. This was like a three star for me. I didn't really like the art. Usually I can tell from the cover, but I didn't dislike this cover and instead the interior art for me was just kind of bland. Just not my thing. I'm a little too blobby we'll call it. And I also didn't love the story. I felt like the story was a little disconjointed and not the best retelling of the story that could have been. I think it needed just a little more character development and growth between the two of them because I was more interested in side characters at the end of the day than I was our main couple. And that's, that's not a good thing. Like, that's not a good thing. So I, um, yeah, I, it was fine. It was fine. It just was not for me necessarily. If you're curious about it, I would try and flip through it if you can ahead of time to see if you like the art or not because I definitely the art was a big struggle for me on this one. Okay and then the last thing I read which I stayed up until literally like one in the morning reading 85% of this and then I finished it off this morning and that is Learn Your Lesson by Candy Steiner. This is my first Candy Steiner. I know a lot of people really like her writing. I just never really had the desire to pick up her books. I've picked up one or two for free in the year over the years. I tried her one whiskey book back in the day. I didn't really like it slash didn't like the setup for it. So I've never really tried again. And I'm mad at myself, kind of, but not really. It's fine. I'm happy I started where I did because Learn Your Lesson was a fantastic single dad nanny romance. Our child is five, hilarious, kind of gives me vibes of Gemma in, in a jam, but like not as unhinged as Gemma. Like if she was more stoic, I guess. Um, yeah, this was really fun. This was really fun. And the mom's been dead like since the baby, since the daughter was three months old. And Will is a goalie at the hockey team for the hockey team in Tampa. And um, Chloe, our heroine, is a teacher. She's a kindergarten teacher. And he hires her to be his nanny so that somebody can help and has to like move into the pool house. And there's a lot of tension, a lot of tension. Like there's tension before they this, this deal enters. And then they're like, we are gonna do uh, basically benefits, not friends, just benefits. Um, no friendship, no kissing, all that fun stuff. But also Chloe is like, I need you to teach me how to bang because I've only done it once and it was not good. And so it's kind of lessons and like sex lessons on top of all of that so it's fantastic and we watch as his daughter Ava like opens up massively to the world and to people and to things and like laughs again and smiles and stuff because she's been like a very stoic five-year-old um, and then we also watch Will our hero do the same thing and it's so good I I just I had a lot of fun reading this I really liked the girl group in this book I really liked seeing the other couples even though I haven't read those books yet because it kind of had me more intrigued for their books. So like you definitely could start here, no problem. And I just really enjoyed the setup here. It was very different. Like Ava comes, or not Ava, Chloe comes from a family that like does not like men. All her grandmother and her mom were both left by their husbands and like abandoned to raise these kids alone. And it's, it's so good. And they, they are working through things like therapy is done. <laughs> like they did end up doing therapy and stuff. But yeah, it just, it's such a good book. It was so fun. Um, and I definitely have to go back and read book one and two. Book one, I believe, is Enemies to Lovers. Book two is Brother's Best Friend. So I'm curious to see. I feel like Candy could pull off Enemies to Lovers after reading this book. Because like I said, I'm not usually a big single dad book person. Like I don't, I'm, I'm indifferent on the single dad situation. Um, but this, I don't know, it worked really well for me. It was a solid four stars. I just, I had a blast. And I now am also really intrigued for book four, which is like a pop princess and the bad boy of the hockey team. And I'm like, yes, please. They're like childhood friends. And the selling point was he wants to kiss her. She wants to punch him. And I was just like, I need this in my life immediately. Like I immediately need this. So I'm excited to see where that goes when that comes out, if I like it. And also potentially at some point here, journey back a little bit into this series. Is there another candy sign I should pick up? Let me know in the comments. Cause I just really, I don't know. They just never like fully appealed to me. So so somehow the TikTok ads got me on this one. <laughs> All right, I'm about to talk about The Secret Project. This is your warning. 
skip ahead if you don't want to hear about the secret project okay last call last chance so if you watch the last wrap up i told you all i was reading the shatter me series and i'm officially through book two unravel me and the novella fracture me and i have i'm a good bit into ignite me now i really like this series this is very fun i feel like this gives me the vibes of that era of YA in like the best ways in a positive way and a like this is just really fun and I don't want to put it down way so I'm very excited for tomorrow when I can like hunker down for a bit again and plow through the rest of this book I have under three hours left like I'm a couple I'm not super far into the third book but I'm very excited and the next few books are not that long and I think book two just took me a minute because it is a lot longer than the other books but rightfully so and I just I feel like we ended in quite a situation and we started the next book and also quite a situation i cannot imagine if y'all had to wait through those books because that was quite the cliffhanger situations but yeah i'm really enjoying these tara Moffy has me just thrilled to be here vibing with this series it is kind of everything i needed in a weird way with how dystopian it is and also just dramatic in the best ways so yeah i'm excited to finish up ignite me here and see where I go as I finish the series I mean I'm only gonna have three more books and two novellas left after this so I should I will be done by before the end of May so that vlog is coming I promise all right let's talk about my current reads now so this is what I'm carrying into May slash have started I have three books right now on my currently reading shelf and first up I have pucking around my annotation I have gotten back to that and oh my goodness already the little bit I listened to recently has just put me in the mood for this book. I want to finish it. I want to finish my annotation. I just got carried away in it today and I was like, oh, I love these guys. I love all of them. I love all these characters. I love this book. I love, love, love this book. It's so good. This is a reread. I'm really enjoying revisiting it and annotating it and then I'm excited to pick up Pucking Wild. So that way by June I'm ready for Pucking Sweet when that comes out because honestly, I am so anxious for that book. I really want to see how this throuple works out in that one. So we'll see. Okay, next up we have Do Me a Favor by Kathy Yardley. This is a buddy read group chat I have going with the pals. So I have Steph from Novelty Corners already finished it, Robin from Paper Racks and Blanders already finished it, Heather from He Book Tubes, and Shay from Shay Geeks Out. I believe that's all of us reading this together. Some of us have finished it, some of us have not, as is typical in a big group buddy read, but I've started it. I've read a couple chapters. I enjoyed it. I just have not been drawn to go back to it. So I definitely will be carrying it into May. <laughs> That's not what I wanted to do necessarily, but I'm going to because I just, I have to. I have to. I have marked um, the other arc I was reading Cross the Line as a to read, and I'm going to come back to that once I'm done with you. Do me a favor? Do me a favor. Um, I love this cover, and the group, the group's pretty broadly spread on this one. It seems to be a three and a half to a four it's not seeming to be like another six star favorite for everyone like role playing was which valid honestly if it was I think I would panic I would be like what is going on with Kathy how is she managing this so we'll see what happens and then last but not least I am literally sitting down after this to start Butcher and Blackbird so that will be in this week's vlog um that you get next week obviously you can't get it like immediately but I am starting Butcher and Blackbird and I'm really excited I do think it's going to take me into may to finish it i doubt i'll be done before the end of the month i mean who knows it could be a surprise on my highs and lows and stats but that's where we're at with our reading i will be back very soon with highs lows and stats i think it'll be next week yeah so it'll be a week from today you'll get my highs lows and stats because i just i gotta get i gotta get some other stuff together all right so that's everything that i've finished and i'm currently reading in april slash carry into may let me know in the comments uh if you hung up this long what you are carrying over into May if you have any books you're bringing with you. I used to be the person who like could not carry a book over but I now no longer like it just is what it is you know it's just gonna happen sometimes. Obviously booking around has been following me around since December so there's that. <laughs> uh, if you don't do any of that you can leave me a hockey related emoji in the comments so we don't have two hockey books again. What is going on? I don't think I'm re-entering my hockey phase, like full blown, because I feel like I've become so picky about my hockey books now. But you can let me know that in the comments or leave that emoji. And if you don't do any of that, uh, there will of course be links down below for all the books I talked about for you. Links to my friend anywhere on the internet that I am and I will catch y'all in just a few days. Bye. Already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking, we'll get away 
To a place where we don't know About to see The world in action What we can be Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what